today i'm going to talk on oracle jt how to create a project different different parameters how to maintain multiple version of oracle jt in a single machine because when you're working on different different project it may be on different different version of oracle jt next create different different type of projects in oracle jt build serve and what is the difference between npm and npx because I'm going to use npm to install and npx to execute. So I will tell you in detail what is the difference between npm and npx. So let's go to the terminal. Now I'm on my terminal. So I'll first I'll create a folder, make directory, OZ YouTube. Folder is created. Now I'll go to go inside the folder. Here I will install OJET. So I will use npm install at the rate of Oracle OJET CLI. So here you can see I am going to install OJET in this folder only. I am not going to install OJET globally. If I will add minus G globally, G, so it will be installed globally. But I have multiple version of Oracle JT because I am working on multiple version of projects so that's why i will not install it globally now this will install oracle jt cli inside oz folder so oz cli has been installed in the folder let me check so here you can see node module is created package djson is also created now i'll go inside the folder so here you can see package.json so 17 version is installed the latest version of oracle jt is 17.0 now i will install other dependencies so first i will check the version so here i will use npx at the rate of oracle oz cli minus minus version so it is saying that uh, Oracle Jet tooling is installed, template is installed, but this is not installed. So I will install this. So npm install core pack is also not installed. So I will install it again. Type script, webpack, node source. Now it will install all these packages. Now all the dependency packages, dependent packages has been installed. So if I'll check the version npx oracle jet cli minus minus version so here you can see everything is installed if i'll go to the package.json here you can see all the dependencies has been installed so if i'll do oj minus minus version so it is showing the version 6.2.0 because i have installed oj 6.2 globally minus g and that's why it is showing 6.2.0 so i cannot use oz for creation for project creation because it will create project in 6.2.0 version but the latest version that i have installed is 17.0 so when you installed uh, oz globally it will create a uh, oz cli now check the oz version so oz minus minus version it's a 6.2.0 because it is installed globally the version 6.2.0 if you are working in multiple projects then you can install multiple versions of oj so i work in many other applications that has been written in 6.2.0 and that's why i have installed oj 6.2.0 as a global if i'll create project using oz so create uh,
So here it is showing that we can create project. So OJET create my application. Now it is creating a application, but I have selected the OJET. OJET is 6.0, 6.2 version. So here you can see project is created using OJET. Now I'll go to Visual Studio. My application is created. Now I'll go inside the application and package. So here you can see Oracle JIT version is 6.2.0. So this is a old version. Now I'll create OJET application in version 17. So NPX Oracle OJET CLI. Now it will use this version here I have installed OZ version. It will use the 17 version. Create VDOM application. VDOM parameter. It will be NPX. Okay, so here we have to provide the template name. So I'm going to give basic. So it is saying that uh, project is already created. So I will delete the previous one. So RM minus RF read on it will delete the VDOM application folder. Now again, I will try to create uh, application. So NPX or Oracle Jet CLI create VDOM application template basic. Now it is creating application. So application is created now. You can see here VDOM application is created. So here you can see Oracle Jet uh, 17 version. So it is using the Oracle JIT 17 version. Now I'll go to application CD VDOM. Now I'm inside the application. And uh, same way we will use NPX Oracle OJIT CLI build. So it will build the project. And we can start serve so here you can see application is running on 8000 port now i'll go to code and here you can see this is the src folder this is the main folder where we do the coding src folder has main.js index.html so this is app root and uh, everything will be render on app dot app hyphen root uh, tab so when we do the build it will inject a number of gs here so this is the staging folder web if you go to oracle jet configuration dot json so here they have mentioned web web is a staging folder so if i'll go to web so here you can see index.html. This is the main HTML file. And here they have injected main.js. So they do it automatically. But we have to write all the code under SRC. We can create our own component. Like here you can see they have created app TSS. It's a TypeScript, footer, header. So here you can see they have created one main.js and it is using the required JS configuration and uh, it required index.js. So index.typescript is there, but when it will be built, it will generate index.js. You can see here in the build folder, index.js has been generated. Index.ts typescript will be, will be, I mean, will generate, uh, will be generated as an index.js. 
and here they have given the mapping that is this configuration so here you can see typescript configuration because this code is written in typescript so it will use the typescript configuration json and using just this configuration it will compile the index.typescript file and it will create a js index.js so here you can see index.tx they are importing the component app this app tsx when but um, when the index.js file will be generated it is also importing the component.app here they are using define it's because they are converting the typescript to the javascript and using the required js this syntax is for the required js so index.html this one it has app.root and everything will be rendered on under this sec section So main.js here we'll call the main.js. Main.js will load all the dependent library of Oracle JP, like jQuery and IMRJS and everything. Then it will call the index.js. Index.js is written in TypeScript. It is calling app TSX, so component and app TSX. In app we are calling footer header these are the component footer header so here you can see app name this is props props parameters for this component so this component will take two parameters app name and user login so app name is uh, here if i'll change app name one then it will immediately reflect over here and the login id also so this component app.tx props is app name and user login. Container, the web application uh, app, um, application layout is, and it will have the header. So they have defined header over here. This is the rendering method. This is the rendering method. This is component of header component so header will take app name and login id but this is responsible for ui rendering so they have written the code i think jsx code for header rendering in app.tx they have imported header and they are using header content and footer so content content is content dot index this one so whatever you will write over here it will ref, it will be the main content like here if i'm um, going to write like uh, do so it will reflect over here this content area because app.tx is using content header content and footer so content will be uh, is here index.ts this is content component now here we can create our own custom components and we can render inside this index.tx the return is a rendering method so here we can write our own HTMLs and all. We can uh, write, uh, this is a function based component because here they have export function, but we can also create uh, class based components. So we'll see that later in the next tutorial, how to create functional component and class component. Now you can go and install the Oracle JT extension that will help you while doing the development. So here, Oracle JT. I have already installed, but you can also install. So it will give you this kind of suggestions from development time errors. 
So it is very helpful. This extension is provided by Oracle only, oracle.com. So whenever I write the code, it gives me a number of suggestions. Now I want to add a input box on this content. So I'll remove this and here I will write OJ input. So here you can see I'm getting these suggestions because I've installed Oracle JT extension. So I have added OJ input text and here I have added, I have imported the library. Now I'll go to UI and here you can see the input text box has been added in the main content. So this is all for today and we'll see you in next video.